So let's take a look at the seams on this uh, body straight from Factory 5 Racing. I fashioned up this little unit right here to uh, get a close look. This is my GoPro, which I never use, and then I put a flashlight on here. And then uh, we can uh, take a look at these seams real close. I don't know if I should cut these seams down or if I can sand them, but uh, let me know in the comments below. Let's take a look. So we'll start right at this right front corner. And hopefully this shows up pretty good. I don't know if it's too bright or what, but you can see that is quite a lip on there. And man, that, uh, I mean, it's, it's not a quarter of an inch, but uh, it's definitely a good four millimeters there. Nothing a sander or I think some sort of cutter. I don't have air tools, so I can't really, I don't have really a die grinder. I need to maybe find an electric one. But that is quite an edge right there. Yeah, quite an edge right there. And that is sharp as all get out. So watch out for that. where the windshield would go in. I hear that these are never in the in the right spot. That is a big lip right there. Here it goes across. This is where the windshield would go. And this tape is actually me when I stored the body. That'll come off. Let's see, looking at the driver door here. chunk of something right there. But there's not much of a seam here where the roll bar would go. That's pretty darn smooth. Big chunk right there needs to be needs to be sanded down. chunk right there not too bad though that's where the gas cap goes the seam goes right across there right around there that's nice that was already that's already been sanded for some reason I don't know what happened there same thing here I guess from from the factory, they gotta sand that down a little bit just to be able to get the door to close is what that is. But if you're you know, contemplating doing one of these and wanted to get a look at the body before anything's been done to it, that's what I wanted to show you, is uh, this gel coat. It's super nice, I mean, it's super smooth. And uh, I'm sure this makes it a lot easier to get that body work done. So recommended from the forums is this prep ball and then these lint free uh, towels which we're going to use to clean the body. Both of these are in, a link is in the description below.
Well, let's get a look at the body. Post wipe down. The first glaring thing you may notice is this huge gouge right here that was there when it was delivered. That'll have to be filled in. There's another one right about there. Pretty ugly. The next thing is this. I don't know how well that picks up, but this tar will not wipe out. That's gonna need to be scraped off before any sanding. The next thing is whatever this is, uh, is it's smooth, so it's stuck in there. There's nothing to wipe off. I don't know what that is, but it's uh, it's in, in the gel coat. Let's see, if we walk around here, I don't know what this is, but a little bit of a defect, it's fine. Just needs to be filled in. I'm trying to think what else I came across. I was wiping it down really good. I'm gonna have to wipe that again. Here's some, looks like some white mar wipe marks that, uh, well, that's scrapes, I think. Something scraped there. Same thing here, big scrape. And then on the top here, I don't know what this is, but it will not wipe off. And it's got a texture to it, but I think like that smudge that's in the gel coat, this is feels like it's in. But I definitely don't want to sand on that, thinking it might spread. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there, but it, it feels like a little bit of Shipping rash, I guess you would call it. I didn't see anything major uh, on the body behind here. But it's pretty pretty darn rough in some spots. It doesn't feel rough. I mean, that feels kind of smooth. But I think this is more of just... Well, see, I'm able to wipe that... I'm able to scratch it off with my fingernail, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to do, I think, a sanding and then another, another wipe down. A little something there, no problem. I don't know, I'm new to fiberglass. There's also some sort of green, chunk of green right here, and I have no idea what that is. I don't know how well that picks up on the camera, but... Something green stuck in there. I don't know. So I was told the whole point of that prep ball is to get any contaminants off the body. So when you start sanding, you don't sand anything into the gel coat. So, I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. One other thing found a bunch of wax deposits. I think this is the only spot but you can get your fingernail in there and kind of dig it out a little bit. But I think I've been told a wire wheel will knock that off. So I probably need to wire wheel around these seams first. Get that, get that wax out of there, the stuff I can see and the stuff I can't see. Now yeah, here's a little more here.
Well, there's the first test run of removing the dash with the body on. It definitely got scraped up right here because it is pretty close and needs to be trimmed right here, there's no doubt. Uh, I definitely need to do a better job of zip tying all these up. These All these loose ends just are catching uh, on here. So that's definitely on the to-do list. Getting this zip tied, maybe wired up a little better. So once again, my buddy Steve came over to help me. He brought over this file, which we thought, nah, it's a little aggressive, but I looked in my uh, tools and I have this file. We did a test spot right here, and we think that is definitely the way to go. It's not making too much of a mess. We're not sanding. Uh, we're actually, uh, Removing. Filing it down, removing enough material, it's not going to take forever, even though we're not using a power tool. So I think this is the way to go. This is the way to go. This is the way to go. I don't know, we don't know what the heck we're doing, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. Well, let's take a look at the results. As you can see, we mostly use these files here, these two round files. A little bit of that uh, half curve on there. Uh, it looks like heck, but it is smooth. This is smooth now. Uh, there's still some roughness here, of course, but that, that seam is gone. Uh, one thing I am concerned about are these pits that are left in the molding process. Some of these are pinholes. Some of them are pretty big. There's one there. That looks like it's filled in with a little bit of, maybe that's wax. A couple of few more holes right here I'm concerned about. Uh, but it's mostly smooth. We didn't do anything along here yet. Uh, we also didn't do anything here. There's 
some more of the pitting. One thing of concern is the elevations. Some of these elevations are different. For instance, this is quite a bit lower than this, and that's why most of this has been taken off, uh, and this has hardly been, been touched. Uh, there's still a ledge on here that I can get my finger on quite a bit, so I don't know if this needs to be sanded down to this level, or if I can just put filler in here to level this out. I'm not sure yet, I gotta ask some, some of my resources, I suppose. Uh, just with the filing that we did, it does make quite a mess. We swept most of it up, but uh, I definitely should be wearing a mask. But I think I got a pretty good start.